Hello, it's pancake day on Tuesday, so what we're going to do is make some pancakes. Very easy. All you need is four ounces of plain flour, a pinch of salt, one egg, and half a pint of milk. Then you just whiz it all together. There we are, and we're ready to cook. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got a decent pancake pan. So it's a non-stick pan and you don't let anyone ever use it for anything else, right? Nothing at all. My husband once used my pancake pan to fry some prawns. I nearly divorced him. So you need one and you only use wooden or nylon stuff on it so it doesn't mark it. That way nothing's going to stick to it. And then you just put a little bit of knob of butter in there. The trick with the pancakes is you need to make sure that your pan is very, very hot. It needs to be what's called smoking hot. So you'll see some steam coming off it. However, that will burn the butter. So we just melt the butter first and then just pour, and it'll only be a little bit of butter that goes in there and give that a stir into your mixture. So just take the excess fat from the pan and just let that heat up nicely. The thing is, your first pancake is not going to be great. I can guarantee it. So I normally let my first pancake be half a pan like this. Flick it over. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. But it's because the first pancake is never any good. So the first pancake, you throw away. And what you're waiting for is the pancake to dry off so you can see that the mixture has dried off. And when it's dried off, be able to flip it over like that. So if somebody has used your pan with metal implements or for doing something they shouldn't do in it, um, your pancake won't look like this, it'll be a mess in the middle, in which case you find the person who used the wrong implements on your pan and you go and smear that mess all over their face. So there you are, crepe pancakes perfect with lemon and sugar or even fresh fruit, ice cream and chocolate sauce. Slightly different style of pancake is an American style pancake or a drop scone. These are great for breakfast. So what you're going to need is four ounces of flour but this time it's self-raising, not plain flour. But you're going to add to that a teaspoon of baking powder. Now. The thing is, when it says it's a teaspoon of baking powder, it's not just any old spoon you get out of the drawer, it's actually a measured teaspoon. So, a teaspoon of baking powder and an ounce of sugar. In the recipe, probably custard sugar, but you know what, this is granulated sugar because that's all I've got. And then one egg. And four fluid ounces of milk. and a pinch of salt, forgot that bit. And then whiz it all up. Right, and we're ready to cook. Last time for the crepes we used a light pancake pan. This time you're going to be using a cast iron, heavier based pan. This is much better for this type of pancake. It also doesn't need to be so hot. This time the mixture's a lot thicker than last time. It's a bit lumpy as well, but anyway. And also, you can make shapes with it if you wish. Not that I've ever tried to. Now, this time, rather than waiting for it to go dry, what you're looking for is bubbles that are appearing on the surface. That should mean that it's cooked on the other side. So I'm going to very gently, using a nylon and not a metal spatula, is just gently lift it up and turn it over. 
because you've had that rising agent, not only in the self-raising flour, but also in the baking powder as well, you've got that puffing up of the pancake. And you want to have a go at these, have a go and put them in for the uh, horticultural show because there is actually a category for drop scones. Perfect with just plain butter or drenched in maple syrup. <laughs>